Okay. All right. Let's uh, do this. Go ahead and uh, start to the stern and work to the bow. Sounds good. I'm going to start working in ahead on one engine, so if that uh, messes you up, let me know. Very good. Okay. So. Today we're up in in uh, Roston, New York, by Poughkeepsie, Newburgh, that area, and we've got a big 50,000 barrel barge that we've just pumped off, and now we're going to start heading down river. Boys are uh, letting the lines go. I'm going to check on the chart plotter to see. Uh, Got any traffic around us? Somebody down there, but he's not coming or going. He's at the dock. Come up here, everything looks good. Make a security call. Security call, Tug Elk River, singling up lines at Buckeye Roston. He'll be downbound for the city. Tug Elk River checking on any concerned or opposing traffic. Now being this far up in the river there is no VTS or anything like that so we kind of handle all of uh, comings and goings on our own. Okay, so we've got eight knots of wind coming basically right at us. Take it in our bow line now and then we'll take the forward spring. Alright, so I keep working in on that forward spring until you get that bow line in, alright? Okay. So the way the dock is set up is that there's one cluster and then a middle, uh, right off the manifold, there's a cell and then another cluster up or case on up forward. And my plan. I gotta have the when I came in here last night I couldn't really see everything so I'm gonna have the deckhand verify for me that I can come back and lean on the aft the aft caisson. I'm ready for the light line. All right, I'm gonna go all stop. Go ahead, take her in. Okay. Now I've got the tide flooding, so the tide's coming this way and the wind's coming this way. So my plan is to roll back a little bit on that last cell, so I'll be here and pivot around it. And catch a little bit of tide and a little bit of wind, and that will walk walk us right back. All right, come back to this last cell back here in the stern. Take a look at it and make sure that uh, it's on good, good. You know that I'm not on the rake or anything like that, and that I can start turning. Um, I, I want to rotate counterclockwise. All right. Did you say we had one more last um, line or no? No more lines are in. All right. So I can roll on that pad without getting doing any damage or anything, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's doing much good to bend in on. All right. Good deal. Uh, let me just keep an eye on that and because I can't see what's happening over there. Don't let me get into trouble. Yeah, probably. 
All right, very good. Now there's two things at play here. Um, if I come back too far, if I come back far, really far, I'll have a lot of uh, area to pivot on. The problem with that is that I don't think there's a lot of water on this side of the dock. So the more I pivot on that, the farther the farther pack I come, the more my stern or wheels will get into the bad water. And I don't think it's a really big issue, I meaning I think I have plenty of room, but just to be on the safe side, I don't want to go too far back. Alright, good deal. Now he says that I'm a foot wide on the stern. What that means is there's already some tide and wind coming, still pulling us off this way, but getting in between the dock and us and lifting us off, which is great. Okay, I go all stop, and that should lift the stern off some more. I'm going to center my rudder, maybe even give it a little bit of right wheel to lift off that case on a little bit more. And are we still off on that pad on the stern? All right, beautiful. I'm going to start coming ahead then. Good deal. We're going to call it 0955 underway. 0955. Okay, so since we are five feet off of that pad, I can't see it over here because it's behind the house and 20 feet below the deck of the barge. He told me it was five wide. I don't even have to give any right wheel. I can just come ahead. Bow still coming over. Got a little bit of the tide and the wind pushing us this way all the time. So we start heading away, and now I can see that dock, and uh, everything looks good over there. Good deal. It worked out well. Came in here last night. It's been a while since I've been in here, and uh, I trying to remember how it how it looked over here, and uh, now I got a better look at it in the daytime. <laughs> Call this the rough log. I'm getting a message on my chart plotter that it's time to update the charts. I don't want to update them while I'm underway. If you have a power boat and you have an internet connection, or a sailboat and you have an internet connection and it says, up do you want to update your charts? It's best to do that when you're tied up in case you have a problem. I'm going to put my uh, throttles on sync so that one throttle will operate both engines. Start bringing her up to speed. We'll get her up on plane. <laughs> Can we get the Newburgh bridges down uh, straight ahead of us. Should be a nice trip down the uh, North River, or what most people refer to as the Hudson River. Many of us call it the North River and the tugboat side. We had a beautiful ride up here, and uh, it was my plan to shoot some video coming up here, but I took over the watch right before we were coming to the Tap N Z Bridge, or it's not the Tap N Z Bridge anymore, but we still call it that. And, uh, the sun was just going over the horizon, so uh, it wouldn't really made a lot of sense to take a lot of video there. You wouldn't have seen much at night, but uh, anyway, hopefully we can get some video here for you. Now we'll see how this goes, but I think that uh, the only fun thing to do was to come off the dock, and now I'm just going to be driving down the river. I don't know how this video is going to work, but what I think I might end up doing is I've got the four cameras running here but there isn't a whole lot to see. Maybe what I'll do is I'll keep the uh, chart plotter camera on and the camera that's looking out the window and uh, let them run out over time and try to speed it up. <laughs> Once again, the ongoing battle in the uh, comments will continue as to whether uh, sped up videos are good or bad. The debate that never seems to die. <laughs>
hey, as long as I'm talking to you about things that never seem to die, I uh, try to answer everyone's comments. And uh, one thing that I have to keep reminding people, and it's uh, as long as I have your ear now, I should point out to you that I, whenever anybody uses the, a name of a tugboat or a company or a customer, I have to write in there. It gets flagged and pulled off, and I put it back in there and saying, look, we try really hard to not directly name tugs, companies, or customers directly by name. Now, you may hear me say the name of the boat that I'm on or the dock that I'm going to on the radio when I'm talking to VTS or talking to another boat. And uh, that's considered public domain. As soon as I key the mic, it's for everyone to hear. But I need to remind everybody that I'm just an employee and by the graciousness of my employer I'm being allowed to film the uh, the, the employers uh, the employer owns all this equipment and I don't speak for the company and I don't represent the company and it's really the employer my employer is you know very adamant that I make sure that everyone knows that and that I shouldn't directly use the name of the company or of the uh, of the tugs or the cu customers we go to directly by name so if you hear us use it indirectly that's that's why but anyway in your comments that we all know who what, what you're talking about so you don't have to directly put names out there we can figure it out all right so uh, that keeps me from getting in trouble and like I say I'm only allowed to film this by the graciousness of my employer and if you wonder why there aren't a million tugboat channels out there it's because almost every employer out there won't even let you take pictures of their operations let alone video so I'm, I'm really really grateful for the opportunity to share part of this with you and uh, that's that's what I can do there's another thing that comes up and that's that everybody wants to see barge operations on video and they want me to put a camera on the on the AB or the deckhands uh, head and just follow them around and that sort of stuff and there's a, there's a couple issues that I keep trying to remind people that I realize not everybody can read all the comments so I figured I'd address that here and one of the things is most deckhands don't want they don't even want to be on camera let alone want to have a camera attached to their head then there's the other thing too and that's that I don't want to uh, have any part of my little hobby uh, be a problem or get in the way of somebody doing their safe and effective job then there's also the bigger issue well it's not bigger but bigger as far as uh, as far as my relationship with my employer goes and that's that you're looking right now at the barge and that's kind of how everybody can see that but as soon as we start talking about operations and walking around the barge we run into an issue of security and proprietary systems that we don't really that companies don't want to be broadcast to the general public so the idea of me doing a walkthrough and showing systems on the barge or how we how we load product or how we discharge product or any of those things that's never going to happen um, just because I, I can't do that you know um, my employer wouldn't allow that and I don't think it's really the right thing and it, it's very possible that the you know the Coast Guard until the time of war is operated by the Department of Homeland Security and uh, this is what they call essential infrastructure and, and it's a red flag in other words I don't know if you can see it on the on the camera here but the mast on the barge will have a American flag and then the uh, Maryland flag underneath it and then our company fa flag and then a red flag and the red flag means that we're transporting uh, hazardous cargo and so because of that um, se security and proprietary systems are something that we need to protect so all of you that are asking for more information about the barges I would love to oblige but it's just something that we can't do at this time anyway that's it if uh, thank you guys for watching hope you like the video and if you want to stick around and I'll try to uh, let the camera run out here and uh, and have you guys uh, I'll speed it up so you can see us going down the rest of the river until the camera runs out of battery and as always I'll see you guys on the one